my name is Brent and I'm from language101.com. This is a series of videos about how to make better audio recordings. This recording is specifically about which microphone to use. Now you can notice that I'm using what looks like and in fact is a stage microphone. This is a Audix brand microphone. Andrea has got a Shure brand microphone. These are what's called dynamic mics. So if you go to the uh, microphone store, if you go to a music store to buy mics, they'll uh, tell you that these are sort of lower-end microphones. There's a reason why we're using relatively lower-end microphones, and that is because they're less sensitive. If you don't have an absolutely perfect silently background studio, um, using a microphone like this will cut out a lot of the noise. These microphones are designed to use on stage. Because they're designed to use on stage, they eliminate a lot of the noise that's behind the mic and they focus on receiving what's in front of the mic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Andrea to talk in French with this microphone and well Andrea just say something nice about Quebec in French and I'm going to rotate this microphone away from her so you can see how directional this microphone is. Il y a de beaux endroits au Québec. Keep talking. Alors il y a plusieurs places à visiter au Québec. Il y a beaucoup de villes intéressantes, comme Montréal, Québec. Je parle du Québec, mais en fait, le Canada est très grand. Donc, euh, beaucoup d'endroits à visiter. OK, merci beaucoup. OK, did you hear how directional that microphone is? You want that when you're recording in an environment where your um, background audio is just not quite perfect. Now, we're using microphones that have an XLR output. They do require going to an interface box. You can use microphones that go directly to um, the USB port of your computer. Uh, if you're working for language101.com, making recordings for us, you do have to use a microphone that goes to an interface box and from there to the computer. So that's the kind of microphone we recommend. You can use a um, condenser microphone, like a studio microphone, but only use those if you're 100% sure that you've gotten your background noise to be totally gone. So. That's the end of this video on how to make better audio recordings. We've got lots more in the series. If you like this one, please watch the rest of them. If you'd like to learn a foreign language, please come and visit us at language101.com.